welcome if you're new if you're here be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we're making the cut for today one killed others injured and south camp road broker and murray charged and accident in montego bay Tragedy struck on Ash Wednesday along South Camp Road in Kingston when the driver of a Nissan A&D wagon motor car lost control of the vehicle and crashed into a utility pole, resulting in the injury of occupants and the death of one person. Eyewitness says the Nissan and another vehicle were speeding along the roadway. After losing control, the Nissan reportedly turned over and flipped multiple times before hitting the light pole at a section of North Street and South Camp Road. Among the passengers were minors. The injured persons were taken to the hospital. I just day before yesterday with a talk about the same taxi thing, you know. But the drivers them tend for not take people life serious or them not take nothing at all serious. Them not realize say, oh no, I put people life at risk when I do certain things. And sometimes, you know, we can't even blame the drivers them alone. We have to blame the passengers them too. Because whether or not you want to believe it, some of the passengers them know what they are sign up for. Them know exactly how the driver stay, but because them want to reach where them go quick and fast, or them feel like say, I the driver you like because him not take long on the road. Them still jump in at the car, knowing say the driver is known for speeding, or as them would classify it, known for the idle on the road. Them reach where them go faster than every other else driver. But back to the drivers. It's like them don't care about people. Like, how can you be speeding? You hear what them say? A two car, a race on the road in a broad, broad, broad daylight, you know. So, I want to know, how can you be speeding with minors in the car? I could never him common sense him did I use a musty capital one them because I just not get it. I don't get it none at all. I can't sit down and mop it out in my head. And you know what the worst thing? The worst thing I them careless driver you always tend for survive, you know. Mm-hmm. Them always dash your people life and them make it. It is so unfortunate and it is so hard to rend in. For sister, we can be this artless to one another. You can't just a thing about the money when we can go back up the road go make one two bills. You know, if my speed faster, we can go back up the road go catch that set there. That's all them a think about, you know, and not think about them safety. Them not think about them passengers safety. No, you're mad and them have the money up the road for a catch back. That's all them think about. Yeah, your friend a race. More than likely, a him and him friend a race to go back up the road to catch a trip. And that, you know, and nothing else, you know. Because there is no way on this earth you just have to get up and start speed with a next driver you don't know from nowhere. It has to be something that was planned or them dede and them sissy. The one day I go faster than the one day and as I stated earlier, him probably no want him to reach up back the road before him to catch the next trip. So him decides, alright, me I go move fast now. Quick quick. And you see where quick quick cars. It was said that the person who dropped out go by the name of Kennardo. He is 21 years old from the South Camp Road area. But my point is this could have easily avoided. It never called for. It not necessary. I'm upset. The driver 
all accountable for this because when you really and truly I take people life for your joke thing and you don't understand say when you heard people them have family members left back we are gonna feel the pain for a lifetime the pain now go feared just like that and not only the pain them probably traumatize you understand so right now one of my family member go to one go somewhere tomorrow, probably next week, week after that, and them afraid for going on a taxi. Them afraid, them not sure if them are going to make it home. So me I call out to all of the drivers, them know. Uno don't give the people them life over idleness. Do not idle with people life. It is not funny. Two St. James men were arrested and charged with firearm-related crimes in two separate incidents in the parish. The police say 37-year-old Lucan O'Connor, otherwise called Broker, of Providence Heights, Flanka in St. James, were charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition last Thursday. Lawmen said at about 6.30 a.m., a joint military team armed with a warrant went to Okana's residence during the search of the premises a Taurus 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 10 9mm cartridges was found inside a bedroom wrapped in a sock. He was arrested and later charged following an interview. In the second incident, 27-year-old Shadane Murray of Pilliput in the parish was on Monday charged with wounding with intent in relation to an incident that occurred in the area on Friday, February 5. The police said that about 2.45 p.m., Murray allegedly attempted to abduct the complainant at gunpoint. A struggle ensued and the complainant was shot but managed to escape. Yes, my father, where are David? Out there. Who are Kenny? <laughs> so it was said that that incident took place in Montego Bay in the vicinity of Great River Bridge, which includes a JUTC bus and a motor car as the video shows and no serious injuries were reported. Thank God for that, because you know so them big bus then a partial nobody at all. You're not even one that run over your little tour because that now go feel good at all. All. So we give thanks say no serious injury, no reported, or no occur, and we are praying for your speedy recovery for the little minor injury them get.